Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to replace these lines to put in 516's gravity vacuum. So you can see right here where my finger's at, it goes through this pipe, but from here it goes up in the woods, around this corner a little bit, and then up higher, and then up past where you can't see it anymore. It's about 46 feet to my top tree up there to right there. So the idea I have is to run 5 sixteenths from there to my very top tree. And then I have, like you can see this chute right here, I have different, uh, different lines coming in on both sides of this ravine that'll feed into it. I'm gonna to try to keep the T's that I have going into the main line as few as possible because from the studies that I've found, there may be a hang up when it comes into the main line. So I'm gonna to try to keep that as minimal as possible just for the best effect that I can get. So to get started, I'm just gonna run this and then we'll see where we go from there. We made it almost to the top here. The top is those trees right there. But for right now, we're just gonna replace this one. So we got it all laid out. You can see it on the ground. So what I'm gonna do next is go down and take the zip ties off of this black pipe. And then we'll come back up through and zip tie this green one onto the high tensile fence. Alrighty, I got to the top. I got everything zip tied in. I just put a little hook on the end of it. That'll just hold that there. It goes down through the woods now. So next, I'm gonna go up top and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do up there. I wanna try maybe straightening some things out. So we'll go up there and take a look. What I'm gonna do is change the looping on this one because the way my system is set up now, I just have one of these taps set to suck air so there's no vacuum on it because I didn't have enough going down to create enough vacuum to get things moving so when I had air on it it would just make its way so what I'm gonna do is change this saddle I think that's what they're called and then I'm gonna run it across this tree instead of behind it and then I'll run a long tap line over to this tree and that'll just run a straight line from that tree, this tree, this tree, and then we'll turn it that way. What I'm trying to do is take out like that as many sharp corners as I can. And then we'll run down over there and start working our way down. As you can tell, it's been a while since I filmed anything. About a month probably. But in that time, got from this T post all the way up around the corner done. Got all these re-ran new uh, taps and tees on everything. Uh, the parts of the line that had stuff growing in them, I cut that out, put new line in. <clears throat> everything looks good, except for this run right here. It's got a sag in it, but if I pull it tight, it picks the line up so I don't know we'll figure that out when we get to it I might tie a rock or something to the bottom of it or maybe when I pull a fence tight again it'll do something but that's something to work on another day today we're gonna run a second main line of 5 sixteenths we're gonna Hook it here on this T post on the back side, the back side right here, and then we'll run it down to the dam wall down there. We're just gonna uh, terminate it down there again, like we did the first one. And in the time that I've been working on this, like I said, the month, I've also decided to put a sure flow pump on the end of this just to add a little extra because this section right here is about 
7% grade, which according to research numbers, that'll be enough to pull vacuum and being that it's a super long line, it'll have a lot of weight behind it to pull it. But down at the bottom, on the other side of that dam, I don't have nearly that much fall. So it's, it's not flat, but it might as well be. So I'm just gonna put the SureFlow pump on the end of it. That way when it gets down there, it'll still have the vacuum on it pulling the sap. So, so that problem should be uh, null and void. So I got the, I just went down through and got the black pipe off of the line again. So I'm gonna run this line now. And I did this line the other night. So all we have to do is get this one ran so I can hook that in and then we can move on to our other ones that we still have to go. Oh boy, I just thought of something. I should have bought a second color of sap line. Got this second one laid out here. Now I wanna go up through and zip tie it all under the line, but I don't have a way to tell which one's which. So I think what I'm gonna do is everywhere I have one coming down anyway, I'm gonna have to put a zip tie on the actual line and hopefully I can remember that I did that to indicate that. <laughs> all right, let's get zip tying. Okay, we got it all zip tied up. Got down here at the end. This is the first one I ran up. And then I marked the second one. Still haven't decided how we're getting through this. I think, I haven't checked the fit yet, but I, if they fit, I'm, I'm gonna stick it inside of this. I don't know, maybe I'll figure out some way to, cause I don't want this pipe to fall down in there either. So, but I wanna, I think I wanna go in through there to keep things from possibly damaging the much softer line than that is, so. That's the idea behind that. If that's what I end up doing or not, time will tell. Now it's time to pull this line tight and get it tapped in. I had to come up here and start another line so I could get, I'm changing from these older taps for me to a new tap with a cup in it. And I figure I might as well use these old ones while I have them and not using them. So I'll just use them and uh, not have to buy any extra taps. All right, got that one in. <sighs> I'm glad it's done because I only had to walk clear up there, like, yeah, clear up there, clear up there, like three or four times, you know, because I would forget one thing and had to go up and get another one. But uh, anyway, got down here, thought I was just gonna put that in quick. Had to go back, get a splice, cause turns out this line has crap growing in it. So junk that, put a new piece in. Got that zip tied onto the fence there, so it won't go anywhere. Keep the whole line tight. So now I'm gonna do this run here. There's one on the other side of it and a couple down through there. And I'll catch back up to you probably when I'm done, hopefully tomorrow. Well, I did end up getting this done. Uh, it would be two nights ago. I was hoping to get that done, that last clip. And I got it done, but at dark I decided to hit a couple more trees and thankfully I did because today it rained for like 13 hours so it's a little flooded as you can see the plan is to go down that pipe that you can't even see now because it's underwater so hopefully this gets drained out here pretty soon today I'm gonna hit these two tree or well three trees 
and then all I have left to do is these two trees and then whatever I end up doing over here. I marked out some newer trees. I'm not sure if they're big enough, or, but I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. Great news, got the other side done. I didn't add any more trees. These ones are all a little bit too small yet. There was like three up here that were good enough for one tap, but I'd have used like, I don't know, probably 300 feet just to, cause they're clear over there. And the line starts about there-ish. So, I didn't think that was worth it. We'll wait a couple years, grab them later. But we got this run done, and this one run done. This side of the dam finally drained down. So we'll have to work on getting the uh, 5 16 tubing down there. I haven't decided if I'm gonna try squeezing it through the black pipe yet, or if I'm gonna stick another piece of black pipe down underneath and come out with it. I don't know. I've had a couple different ideas. But once we're down here, we'll just gotta tie into those two and then straight shooting down to the house. So once we get to doing that, it won't take long. All right, so we're back over here. It's been probably two weeks since I've been over here because I went over to the other side of the property and redid that like I did this. So we're back over here. I uh, came over last night after dark because I figured I wouldn't be doing anything. And I just wanted to see what I had to do to get another pipe through this hole. Come to find out there was enough room. So I just pulled down the pipe that was here, found a long enough section stuck it down in here good to go wasn't gonna do anything tonight because it's like 10 degrees out but then I thought earlier today that it might be a good day to try to get this green line in so it's stiff and uh, not quite as sticky as it would be if it was warm so I'm gonna try getting this fed through there tonight I stuck a uh, just a, a splice on the end of it. Hopefully that'll... Oh, it's not even going to fit. Alright, well, then I guess we're going to have to go without. I was hoping that would hit and guide it, but... We'll go without and see how it works. Worst comes to worst, we go find something else to use. Maybe we'll use a stick. All right, hopefully it's not full of ice. That was going too easy. I'm gonna have to go get the torch and get this one ripped apart so I can do the other side, I guess. All right, so we're not through yet, but the other end's frozen, so we'll see how far this goes. Oh, yeah. Well, we're not going any further with that. Just hang that right there. Wait for some warmer weather. Let's go to the other end, get this other pipe unhooked, then we'll pull it up. So it kind of looks like this one. We're at the other side. You can see this one just comes out. That's the one we are working on over there. And we gotta get this one unhooked. Now we'll go to the other side and see if we can get uh, 
the other part pulled out and get some more pipe pulled up through there. All right, well, now it's gonna have to wait for a warmer day. So I'll see you then. It's the next day, it ain't much warmer. I think it got up to probably 25-ish today. But I went to the other side, kicked it some. I think the ice is out of it. So let's find out. Oh no! Nope, it's still frozen. Oh well, it's supposed to continue to get warm tonight, so hopefully tomorrow it thaws out. It's supposed to be supposedly 40, so hopefully that gets thawed out so I can get those ran through because I'm just about ready on the other side and if, uh, If that doesn't get thawed out, I might be missing some runs. This is the captain's log. It is day three. Hopefully it goes better. We brought the stuff. It's been 40 degrees all day. Well, here just goes nothing. Oh, yes, finally. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, nope, we're good. Yeah, I'll stick some more down through there. Why not, right? What do I got in my beard? Got my beard. <sighs> Go to the other side. See how much more I need. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, we need to get it to down there. Let's see if we can just pull it. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right. I think we'll get the zip ties. And zip tie it up here and make sure my length's right. I don't want to cut anything. Well, yeah, I guess we'll do that. All right, change of plans. I think I'm going to shove the rest of this through and get it connected up here. Then I'm not... Playing guessing games, I can just get it all done. Hopefully I can get that undone without going to get the torch because I didn't bring that. All right, so what I did is put a splice in there and it's one of those ones with the wire hook on it. Maybe if it focuses, focus. Right there, got the wire hook on it. Zip tight there to make sure it actually stays. And then I'll stick that down through there. That way, if a tree falls on it somewhere up there, it has plenty to give, and it won't be trying to like, rip it out of here or anything. So that's the thought behind that. That one wouldn't come out, so I have to grab the torch. But I did bring this stuff so I can go put that T in and we can keep moving. Decided to make this a little bit easier. Instead of using a torch, I'm just gonna use a saw. So. We'll get this cut off, and then I think I'm going to shorten this one up some. So I'll just cut the tubing there and shove it down in, shorten it up. I already got this jerry rigged up, so hopefully that doesn't move. Got to go through and pull the excess back out, and then we'll continue down the other side. So we got the line ran down here, and I connected into the three-quarter, and it goes on down into the tank. Oh. Now it's time to get tapping. Well, I've got the few on this side and the three on this side done. And I'm already getting flow. I think that's probably pretty good for the five minutes it took me to tap them. Now let's get to the other side of the dam and see how much more we can get. We're making progress. We got that side done all the way up top. We got these ones done. We just got whatever's left. Pretty much what you can see down through there. And we might get done before dark. That'd be nice.
Last tap. All right, that was the last tap. Let's go check out the lines and see how they're working. All right, here we go. I'm guessing this is probably the one, the line we just finished because there's still a lot of air in it. Things are still traveling pretty fast. But this line, I'm guessing, is the longer one. You can see things are still moving fast, but the line's a lot fuller. So let's go to the other side of the dam and see how that's working over there. You see I came out and then I had to come up to go down to the line, go down to the house to get my a little bit of fall. But I didn't know. I mean, there's probably 8 to 10 feet of fall, like like a 90 fall straight down. Then it comes down here. Came up. I didn't know how low, well it was going to work. But I can get the glare off of them. You can see the bubbles going up. So it's working just fine. And this is all without a pump on it. Let's go see how much is coming out. All right, I'd say that's a pretty good flow for an hour and a half after starting to tap. What do we got down in there? Oh, we haven't filled up anything yet. Well, it's been about 24 hours, about a half hour shy of that. And this is what we've gotten so far. Uh, I gotta get cooking, so I'm gonna fill these buckets up and get the pan started. We still have to do some plumbing down here for the RO, but that's it for now. All right, it's been a few days since I recorded anything. We got caught up on the stuff that I had collected. But now I have to go find... Oh, you're not going to focus on it? Here we go. Find out where these bubbles are coming from. This bottom one, which goes to the top, top line, doesn't appear to be running yet. But I know I have a leak on that one. I think I already found that one. But this one appears to be very large so I'm gonna go find it now well we made it up here a little ways but now I have a problem because this line that I was trying to find the leak in is just about empty you can see a little bit in here good news is is this line right here that's moving is that top line but it's still pretty slushy in there See all the little tiny air bubbles trapped in the slush. But at least it's moving. Not sure what I'm going to do with this top line. I might have to wait until things thaw out some more and get running better. Go walk the line some anyways just to see if, see if I can find anything. Well, I just finished up the uh, lower short run. And I found quite a few taps that were loose like this tree right here that both of them on that one were extremely loose they were all a little loose but I think that one probably had the worst ones on it we'll have to wait for it to start running to see if that solves the major issue but now we're gonna move on to the higher long run well I just went through this entire top section and Tapped in all of the taps again. None of them were as loose as the first one, but all of them gave up a little, so we'll take that and see what happens when the run starts here in, I don't know, probably an hour or two. Be a good check, but before then, we'll just run down here right now on the other side of the dam and see what the bubbles look like, just out of curiosity. Alright, as you can see, I still have a problem with this bottom line. This top line is doing 
what it should be considering nothing's supposed to be running or should be running because it's still pretty cold out so we'll have to work on this one all right we've had a great week of uh running on just gravity we're gonna put in some vacuum gauges now to see what we're pulling and then probably tomorrow i'll get the vacuum pump set up and see how that how much that adds to it Alrighty, we got one put in it's starting to build up a little bit we'll go up top and put another one in then we'll come back down and see what this one says Alrighty, this one's almost at 14 pounds already all I did was cut the tap off of this one and tie it up put it on there tie it up wait for the wind to stop blowing oh we're already past 14 I'll have to come back up here and check this one too it's been an hour and we're at about what, almost eight so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over there and I think I have a tap that's leaking so what I'm gonna do is take my tool and clamp it off see if I can get it to stop sucking air on that one and then We'll go up top, see what that one reads to give this one time to build up pressure again. And we'll see what it reads after that. All right, that's how I know this one's sucking air. Get those air bubbles through there and it's still going, still going. So I'm pretty sure it's this tap right here. Right there. I don't think I got my hole straight, so I'm gonna pinch it off and we'll see what we get. We got it blocked off. Problem is, still sucking air down there. So, not sure what I'm gonna do. All right, so I pinched it off down here on the run down. And it has definitely stopped the air. That tells me my problem is up here somewhere. We'll come back in tomorrow and figure this one out. It's got to be a piece of tubing. It's got a tiny little hole in it and I can't hear it or see it. So we'll come back in and work on that. We're going to run up top before we lose daylight and see what we have going on up there. That's almost 28. Wow. Put a pump on that. I don't know if it'll add much or not. Jeez. Guess we'll find out tomorrow. All right, before I came up here, I put the clamp on that line that we were working on. So I'm gonna run over, grab my bag at the other vacuum gauge and we'll see how uh, that has fared in the little bit of time it's taken me to walk around here. Eh, we gained a little bit. It looks like it might still be going down. We'll have to work on that one tomorrow. Maybe we'll just rebuild the whole thing and hopefully that fixes the problem. All right, well, I found the problem. I uh, came over here and unclamped this one and I could hear it sucking so I decided to cut it the um, line. I was just going to try to reset it because I figured it was just a bad setup but apparently a squirrel had its way with this T at some point. So I'm going to change this T and we'll get the problem solved for right now. It's the next day and uh, definitely looks like taking care of that tea is taking care of most of my problems it's not running super well right now but I definitely don't have any air bubbles in it like I used to so let's go up and check the gauges and then I'm gonna get the pump hooked up today this is the lower line that we were fixed last night it was at what 8 last night and now it's at 12 
So that's a plus on that one. Let's go, let's go up top and see what that one's sitting at. It was at 28 last night. This one's still sitting at 28, so, or I guess it'd be 26. This one is sitting at 26, so. Let's go get this pump hooked up and we'll see what kind of advantage we get from it. Pump's been running for probably two to three minutes now. Sitting at right around 16 pounds. So, or I guess it's not pounds, it's inches, but. We're gonna let this run for a while and then we'll come back and check it. I have to go over to my other line and find a leak over there, so that'll give this time to build up and we'll see what it's doing. Pump's been going for, I don't know, probably an hour, maybe a little longer. It's still holding at 12. So I'm gonna walk these lines and see if I find anything leaking. If I do, I'm gonna fix it. And then we'll check out the uh, vacuum gauges and see what we have on those. That's the TV we replaced last night. So you can see the bubbles going in are pretty much the only bubbles coming out. So that took care of that last night. We got this first part walked. I didn't find any leaks. And we're at 20. 20 ish. Which is just a bit better than the uh, 12 or 14 we were at before so I'll take that improvement it'll probably go up quite a bit once it uh, actually starts running good it's only kind of running now so let's go up top and we'll see what we have going on up there up here at the very top no leaks found and no advantage with the pump but that's fine, because I wasn't really expecting it up here. The natural vacuum has so much pressure on it already. But I'm sure everything downstream is have added vacuum on it. We've seen that indicated on the shorter line. So we'll keep an eye on it and stay updated. All right, one last update. You can see it there. Pump's still running good see what the pressure is at oh we're at 22 plus I mean that's doing pretty good we'll run up on top of the hill and check the lines and see what those gauges are sitting at I just came up over the dam and that was not what I was expecting to see so we'll have to get that off of there when the water goes down a little bit right now it's fine it's not hurting anything but I think that's all I can see through up there I don't see anything else on it so this is the short run it's sitting at about 23 come over here this has one two taps on it come on you can see things just moving along All right, let's go up to this top uh, gauge and see what it has going on. So we're here at the top now. So this one's 27. You see it fluctuating a little bit there. Come over here and look at the line. I don't see anything right there. See things moving right along. Focus more on the tree than the line. There we go. There it goes. Alrighty, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it. Subscribe. It all helps the video get out there more so other people can find it. Uh, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day.